Hey guys and welcome back. Um, as you may know, in my last video I made a pair of Regency stays. They are super cute. I like them so so much. Because I actually need another piece of Regency clothing, which is a shift. What is a shift, you may ask? It's a simple dress that you put under the stays and put onto your skin, so it's the first layer beneath your skin. And yeah, I'm gonna need this one because the plan is to build up to a whole Regency outfit. Why, you may ask? Am I invited to a ball or promenade with some illustrious bachelor gentleman? No, I'm not. But <laughs> a girl can dream. A girl can dream. So without further ado, let's go and make a shift. part is done it's over here I think it looks all right let's move on to the next part Okay, so here we are now. We have all the pieces we need. These are the sleeves. And uh, um, in Germany they call them fishes, like underarm fish. I forgot the real name, <laughs> anyways. Um, the fishes we have. Then we have the two parts of the dress and the gores to give it a bit more flair. So now it is time to join all the pieces together it's on the machine this time because I'm, I don't feel like sewing by hand. This is supposed to be a quick project, quick, want to be done with it today, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> See how you 
Hello lovelies, um, this is now the second day, while it is not a two-day endeavor by any means, <laughs> I decided yesterday to call it a day after sewing into my finger, but now I got this and it's all good and it's the day two and I'm going to finish this thing. Okay, let's go. Um, this is the dress as per now. It's um, yeah, well, this part is kind of sewn. Now it just needs to be ruffled up. Else, <laughs> well, obviously the side seams, and I have to do the second half of the gorse and the sleeves. That's doable, right? Let's go. It's not a problem, but I just wanted to show you quickly. The gores inside of the dress, and now it's kind of making those angles, <laughs> which was to be expected, but I kind of didn't really think this through. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to, you know, round them up.
that's my tutorial on a simple shift dress like this one and yeah if you feel compelled to do one yourself you can see it's really easy you don't need a pattern and you can draft it right on the fabric so yeah uh see you in the next video i guess bye bye